Okay, so just very straight to the point, how am I getting the sound that I get when I'm recording the Rad Bast? I don't think it's professional sound quality by any means, but it's not too bad. And I'm using two microphones and they just plug straight into an external sound interface, which then goes into the computer. But the very first thing is the rope braid. So as you can see, this comes around the outside here. Um, I got this when I first bought the rub. I think it was like an extra 20 euros. It's not too expensive. And that helps to just dampen the sound. It removes a lot of unwanted noise. And especially when you're recording from two different angles, it helps to cut out like phasing issues. I and mean, it does so much. It's literally like the easiest thing that you can do. So the first thing is invest in one of those. I see a lot of people trying to record with it on a stand and they're not using any kind of form of dampener when you're recording that in a microphone. It's just too much for it to handle. Okay, so now on to kind of what microphones I use uh, to record the sound. So this is the first mic and this is probably the most used microphone. This is an AKG C451B. It's a condenser microphone and I kind of position this to the side of the rap bast, kind of pointing at an angle down. So if you can imagine when I'm playing the rap, I'll just move that in a bit closer. So I usually have that kind of positioned kind of here, pointing down at the rim. Um, you don't want it kind of over the top, because if it's right over the top, you'll probably get too much of the bass, or you won't be able to hear the other notes, like the high pitch notes. But this microphone, um, it's a really good mic, it's not too expensive, it does the job quite well. I've seen quite a few recordings where they'll have like hardly any bass, and I think with it being a drum, if that's lacking, it's just not the same. So the second microphone, this is the Voodoo SE Electronics. I have it kind of high up, up here, just out of the way of the camera, and I have it angled down towards the Rabast and like directly, almost over the top. And it picks up more of a, a room sound, if that makes any sense. It doesn't to me, so whatever. It's not as good, I don't think, as my other microphone. Less bass, but you get kind of quite a good separation between different notes. It's good to blend both microphones together, because then you're getting that stereo sound, so this is the, actually the front face, so I would turn this all the way around. So having this one here at this position and the other microphone down there, I find that it stops any phasing issues, which you can get when you're having two microphones. Sometimes you kind of overlap the sound in the different frequencies and it can kind of cause some distortion and it can sound pretty horrendous. But yeah, just play around with it. It doesn't really matter as long as you can find the best thing that works for you. And it also depends on the room as well. So this is how it looks from more zoomed out. That's pretty much the positioning that I use. That's it, so both microphones, they are connected into my leads, which then go into this here, which is a Focusrite two by two interface, which I've had for a few years. So this is my setup now, like behind the cameras that you don't usually see. Two inputs at the front for both mic leads from each microphone, so you've got your left and your right. You can choose which one to put it in, it doesn't really matter, it's just that's how it will come up in Logic or whichever platform that you're using. When you turn this on, you will get a window that will pop up in Logic. I've not got it set up just yet, but then it will kind of connect itself. On the front here you've got your gain. So if I just kind of click near the microphone, you should start seeing that now, there you go. If you are hitting it too loud, it will then go red and then like that. So that means that you peek in. So when you're playing, you want those to be lighting up green. Obviously not too loud, not too quiet. This is phantom power. So this is what you need for passive microphones to supply them with the extra power. If you turn that off, it's not going to work. It plugs into the computer at the back with a USB cable. So if you're using like Ableton or Logic, it's all going to be the same pretty much. And that's it really. So I think that pretty much clears up the main points of how I record. It's mostly just trial and error. So you need to buy your microphones, get yourself a rope braid, try different mic positions, and obviously you need to use uh, like an interface in the computer. Otherwise, you could potentially use like a portable microphone. There are some quite good ones out there like the Tascam or the Sony, but the most important thing is getting the sound right from the start. But that's probably because I'm not really very efficient at using Logic or those type of platforms. I need to train more in doing EQ and like all the settings in there. It's quite a lot to learn. 
I might go over that at some point. I don't do too much. I try to use less, I think less is more. So a little bit of reverb, a little bit of EQ, maybe like some compression, stuff like that, maybe a limiter. But other than that, I don't really try to add too much. I want to keep it quite simple for this video, at least to start with. So if you've got any like questions or anything, just shoot me a message or pop a comment below. So yeah, that's pretty much it and I'll see you next time.